First of all, look how awesome this backdrop is, okay? We are on prop, 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 prop. Guys, I made a little, uh, I copied over a character from uh, TBC onto the beta, and I got myself like a bunch, a mixture of prod gear and um, DPS gear. So we have a mixture of both. We have like 14K health. We have a decent amount of uh, uh, dodge parry block and also some, some good attack power as well. And we are going to go into Utgard Keep, guys, on this prod warrior and see if we can do the fabled solo warrior massive XP farm, okay? I don't have the most insane gear, okay? I don't have the craziest gear. It's a mixture of some badge gear with, with defense on it and some, uh, some tanking gear. And it's also a mixture of like DPS gear, right? So it's not the most insane, right? But regardless, we're gonna try it out, okay? We made the spec right there, arms. 38 in arms and 23 in protection, okay guys? And the whole spec basically relies on me getting revenge procs and then blasting with that, okay guys? So we're gonna see if we can give this a good whirl and, um, you know, see if it works. We're gonna drink a Monku's pot for some more uh, dodge, a little bit more, because that's the only thing we have. And uh, we'll see. Does Thunderclub reduce the enemy attack power? I think there was a glyph for it. Um... There was a glyph to reduce the, like, increase the range, which which I got. I'm not I'm not sure if it's worth getting the major glyph, but, I mean, maybe it is. Maybe it is, right? Okay, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna test it on these two mobs, and then we can probably assess how it's gonna go, right? So we go in here, we thunderclap these bad boys, and we do this. Okay, so the damage is actually pretty freaking strong, and we don't take that much damage. That way there was only two mobs, though, right? We took a little bit of damage. We took, like, 5k damage. I mean, it might be viable, actually. I'm not sure, guys. The thing I'm wondering though is that is it gonna be viable for us to do it with this gear? Because I, I want to be able to like get like a proper set for it so we can do it whenever it comes out, right? We always want multiple mobs though, like at least two. I feel like two mobs is probably the optimal, right? Because that way we can we can we can like do the cleave. Revenge doesn't hit more than two, right? Because if we pull like three or four, then my revenge won't hit both of them anymore, right? Which is pretty bad. Dude, they, when they hit though, they hit hard. Okay. Oh my god, when they hit, they hit hard. Okay, Enrage is very, very, very not nice, okay? And they put Sunderus as well, okay. You know what? We put a shield block and then we kill the revenge. Okay. I want this guy too, I want this guy too. I don't want to pull him with the other ones though. Okay. Do that, and then do this, and then do that. Okay, sweeping strikes as well. I forgot sweeping strikes on the other two packs there as well. So we need to remember to do that too, right? And the main bulk of our damage is obviously gonna be revenge. So we, we're sort of just spamming that and then weaving in some cleaves whenever possible as well. Yeah, make sure we have debuffs up as well, like the demo shout and thunderclap and everything, and then we can just bang. Okay, I mean, 10k, it's actually not bad, guys. This might be copium, but this seems pretty good. Like, can you imagine this? If, like, if we actually had good gear, I'm gonna try to... Uh, pull three mobs, I guess. Okay, this might be a little bit sus though, but uh, let's give it a whirl. All right. So th this is where we would want a uh, cliff of cleaving as well, right? Make sure we had that up too. Pop that too. They're enraged now, which is bad. Right, that's really bad. I'm stunned, I'm stunned, I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay, three mobs is dangerous. All right, let, let me try to pull all these. Okay, and then we pop this. And we do that. Okay, so after this runs out, after my shield block runs out, that's when I want a shield wall, right? Yeah, so we want a shield wall now. And it's actually okay to shield wall since it's not that long of a cooldown. It's only like uh, four minutes. They are slapping me though. Shield wall. Or like last stand. Stun this guy. Whenever I'm not revenging, I just do no damage. Jesus. Alright, that was, that was three mobs though. I literally have no health though. <laughs> So I need all the cooldowns for three mobs, basically. And that's like, a lot of these packs are three mobs. Maybe some of you guys know a little bit better than me. I think what you do when, you, when you're farming this is that you... You clear all of this, all these packs here, all these rooms, up until, like, first boss, right? And then when you get to first boss, then you go, go out and reset. So you need to be able to do all of this up to the first boss. Or maybe it's up to dragons. You clear up to the dragons, you can't solo the dragons, I'm pretty sure. I believe you do all of this up here, all these, all the mobs, bing bong bang. And then once you once you get to maybe the dragons or the boss, then you reset and you go again. And you need to be, be able to do that in 15 minutes to get like no lockouts, right? And you can just keep doing it forever. Do that here. Pop my trinket too. For more damage, like for more health. Praying for revenge procs. Oh god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna, I'm so dead, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Yeah, I'm so dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Stop. I'm dead. Unless... Ah! I need more gear, boys. Uh, 
mate, mate, mate. Surely he's not gonna kill. I forgot to disarm him. If I die here, it's my own fault. Like this. Nice. Okay. So we're actually clearing it. Okay, I'm gonna try to do one little dragon. Surely that's not hard. Sunder as well. Yeah, they have a lot of health. It's easier to do the dungeons plus one guy than the solo dungeons. Yeah, I think this dragon might slay me, man. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, I need my maiden. My maiden. There you go. Oh, yeah, you can't stun these bad boys. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm dead, guys. I'm dead. I'm uh, prod, 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 prod. It's not gonna live. Can I feel this? I can't feel that. Dude, this is dead. Okay. One dragon is harder because you get less procs. That's true. Yeah, so the more procs you have, like, the more mobs you pull, the more procs you get. But the more mobs you pull, the more damage you take. Right? I want to try one dungeon, or like one run where we just try to go as fast as we can. We're going to try to do a run, okay? And then we're going to clear up until the dragon pack. We might die a few times here, let's be honest, but uh, let's give it a whirl. Okay, let's give it a whirl. So we have the lucky coin very soon, but we're going to be pulling a three pack without last stand or anything, right? So this is going to be a rough one, I think. Like, very rough, actually. Do these, do, do these three guys only. Okay. I'm about to die. Potion. I'm dead, man! Flip. So whatever we're doing is gonna would be a lot easier with the correct gear, you know. My avoidance. I mean, I have, I have this right now, right? It's, it's not the greatest, but we're trying it. So it, it's mostly badge gear we have, right? Which is not great. But I mean, if I can if I can do it this well just with badge gear, you could probably do really great without it, right? Uh, I have 17% dodge, 12% parry, and then 15% block, right? But I'm trying it out. Like, it, it, it's just for fun, guys. Like, I know it's the, the, the build is not the greatest right now. We, we need more gear and everything. But I wanted to see how it was looking with the current gear we had right now, right? Like, how viable it is. And the thing is, it is very viable. We just need to be more tanky. And I think it's cool, man. I, I, I think with the current gear we have right now as well, we could definitely do it with a healer. Okay, so we do have cooldowns. So surely we can kill this pack, right? Surely we can do this pack. There's no way we can't. Okay, I'm gonna die here. Uh, shield water's running out now. I'm gonna disarm this guy. If I can, yeah, disarm this guy. I'm gonna get stunned. If we can... Fear here, we can live. Ah! Oh! The bleed! I have to last stand, but I don't want to last stand though, because I can't kill the next pack. Okay, seven seconds, we live, we live. We will live this, we will live this, guys. We will live this. Shield block. Ah! Uh, uh, oh, we did it! Oh my god! Jesus! Okay, sweeping strikes, demo shell, this, that. Let me do this, let me do that. Block. Have a last dance just early, just so we have max health in case we get the uh, big mom banked. Okay, swap to this guy. Oh, I should have swapped to this guy way earlier because now this guy has like no health, right? And there's no one to get revenge uh, procs from. I'm gonna stun him and run over here and then a uh, little uh, one of these and then we're good. We could do a little disarm. I'm gonna. Dude, don't kill me again, man. Not again, dude. Fear it? It's gonna break. Ah! I can't slow him! Don't! I have to pot, dude. I'm potting. No deaths, boys. No deaths. Okay, we need to kill one more pack. And then we've technically done this in under 15 minutes, right? Because we, we can't do the dragon packs. Like, w with the gear I have, it's pretty freaking rough. <laughs> like, I need, like, perfect RNG to do it, right? Uh, okay, we have shield walls, so this should be fine, right? Okay. I think we just shield wall early, man. And after shield wall runs out, then we do the, the trinket. Make sure we, we revenge the, the hardest target. Do one of these as well. Yeah, so if you don't have perfect gear, you just need to min-max your, uh, 
usage of like uh, cooldowns, right? If I get stunned now, I'm dead. Don't stun me, don't stun me. You bit! God damn, dude. Alright, let's do this guy. So we can't do more mobs than this guy. So even with like three deaths, we still actually uh, cleared a pretty decent amount of mobs. Oh, there it is, guys. 14 minutes. Okay, we could clear up to the dragon. I mean, honestly, that's not bad. I would really love to try to do this once we have like full Black Temple SS, uh, SS, uh, summon gear, right?